Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today. If you don't know already, my name is Erin Gifford and I am a lover of Adobe Illustrator. So, you are gonna wanna stay tuned because I have an amazing time-saving time -saving tool for you to learn today. Um, as many of you know, if you are in the blogging world, the social media world, like YouTube, anything to do with digital marketing, you are gonna hear me when I say every single platform has a different size image. So your blog is gonna have a different feature size image, Facebook, Facebook cover, Instagram, um, Snapchat, stories, everything, Pinterest, they all have different image size requirements. So I'm gonna show you today how to save yourself loads of time by setting up all the images in one Illustrator document. So instead of having 15 different Illustrator templates saved and copy and pasting and reformatting, we're gonna have one document with unlimited amounts of image sizes within one and then you just have to copy and paste within one document and reformat. So stay tuned and let's dive in. All right, let's get right to it. This is what you're looking at is the final product of some images I created just the other day for my blog or for one of my blogs. Um, so you can see that I have three different sizes. I have a square, I have a horizontal rectangle, and I have a vertical rectangle. So all in one document, like I can just create one size and then um, flush it out into the other sizes that I need. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's start from the beginning. We're going to create a new document. So go up to File and down to New. Now, as most of you probably know, when we're dealing with social media or websites, we are in the digital world. So when we're wanting to change or wanting to create a document for the web, um, the measurement should be done in pixels. So it's down at the very bottom. You're going to choose pixels. And depending on what image you want to start with um, will depend on what size you plug in first. So let's just say... Um, Let's do, let's do a 1600 pixel by 1240. Um, I'm, I'm just assuming that that's like a horizontal rectangle. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, you only want to start with one artboard in this scenario. You don't need any bleed, so don't, these should all be zero. Your color mode needs to be RGB because we're working on um, screen graphics. And your resolution as well should only be 72 because we're doing screen graphics. So once you have all these settings set up, just hit create. And here is our first artboard. I guess to me, this looks kind of like the size for Facebook. So it's kind of like it's a rectangle, but it, it's not quite as tall as it is wide. So anyway, you are going to start with creating your artwork and for tutorial purposes, I'm just going to do this really quick. I'm going to do Facebook post image. Gotta learn how to spell here. Okay. So Facebook post image and this one, I'm just going to type above. Just go ahead and duplicate this and we're going to label this 1600 by 1240 because that's the um, dimensions we plugged into the new document. So now when you do a Facebook post image, I'm just going to assume that you have um, a blog. So let's say that your blog feature image resolution is 1800 pixels wide by 400. So 
we're going to make another artboard, but first we need to get our ruler so we can make it the or er, make it the correct size. So you're going to do a control R or an apple R and you can see my ruler came up along the top and along the left hand side. So this is going to let us make a new artboard that is the correct dimensions that we need. Um, <coughs> So we are going to get our artboard, artboard tool over here on the left. <clears throat> Just click on it. And obviously we know that a blog feature image is usually wider than it is tall. So let's just start with wider than tall. Doesn't even matter. Just whatever shape you want because now we're going to adjust it. But we need to move up here in the left hand corner of your ruler. You are going to click and you're going to drag and you can see how there's kind of like a crosshairs where I'm dragging and I'm going to put those crosshairs right in the corner of my new artboard because that will put the zeros right where we need them in order to measure the size of this. So what did we decide on? 1800 pixels. So we're going to drag this in to 1800. And then we're going to drag it up to, let's do 300 right there. Ooh, that looks a little skinny for blog feature. I'm sure your settings are all different. So, but just for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to make it 600. So 1800 by 600. Um, and then you can click on your open arrow tool because we're going to drag our text and our background from the first post, we are going to click and hold. And then we're going to hold down the shift control or Apple and alt all at the same time, and then slide it over to our second artboard. Now all we have to do is reformat our background and our text. Basically just reformatting this first image to fit this artboard. Then we're going to do the same thing for Instagram. So we are going to just quickly draw what we think is close to a square. And then what is Instagram? I'm so out of date because I've had my template set up for so long. Um, let's just say a thousand by a thousand pixels for Instagram. So again, let's move our crosshairs and center them out in the corner. And then we're going to just drag, oops, we're just going to drag this in till we hit a thousand. And drag the bottom up to 1000. We have a square. Now we just, another easy way to do this is we're just going to click and drag so we get the background and the text. We're going to do a control or Apple C to copy and then V to paste. And we're just going to move this right over and reformat our text. Center. So this is IG, this is blog feature, mm -hmm. this was 1800 by 600, this was thousand by one thousand. Now keep in mind any of this text or background color that I have behind the artboard, it is not going to show up in the final image. So don't worry. Um, oh, that wasn't an artboard. That was a square. We got to use our artboard. 1,000 by 1,000.
There we go. Okay. So we have a, let's recap here. We have our Facebook post image artboard. We have our blog feature image artboard. We have our Instagram post image artboard. And just keep in mind, you can keep recreating with the artboard tool over here on the left. You can make any size artboards that you want. You could probably fit um, quite a few because you have this whole dark gray area that you can load up with different size artboards. So once you get your art, your art boards created um, with your artwork inside of them, then what you wanna do is, um, since we're working with social media and websites, we can't use vector image formats because vector image formats are for print. So we need raster images. So we need a JPEG or a PNG. So how you create PNGs and JPEGs from Illustrator, the easy way is to go up to File, Export, Export for Screens, meaning social media or websites. So then it's gonna show you individually all your different artboards over here on the left. And you could go through and name the first one, Facebook 1600 by 1240. And the middle one, blog feature. And then type in the dimensions, 1800 by 600. IG, 1000 by 1000. So when we export, this is going to be the name of your images wherever you export them. We just have to make sure we have the settings right. So on the right hand side, you want to export all of your artboards, at least in this scenario I do. You can individually select artboards as well. If you make a mistake and you have to go back and just fix one piece of artwork, you can click on these and select or deselect your thumbnails over here. But for this tutorial, we're gonna just select all of them. We don't wanna bleed because if we checked the bleed box, then our image size would pick up all this extra background outside of the artboard and we don't want that. So, um, and no, we don't need to export the full document as one file. We want individual files. Then you can just click on this folder so you can choose where you want these image files to be saved. I just have mine going to the desktop. And um, then you can have the folder open after you export, which I like. You can create subfolders. Last but not least, you want to tell Illustrator what format you want. So. You can do a raster PDF, an SVG, or any of these JPEG options, or PNG. I, for no reason other than it's what I've always done, use PNG. And I don't scale it. It's just 100% 1x the size that I have the image set up in. So I'm gonna hit export artboard. <clears throat> and you can see my new images popped up right here, just like magic. And when I hover over this one, you can see uh, there the item type. It's a PNG file. Dimensions are 1600 by 1240 and the size is 23.3. So there you have it. You just created three images within one document and exported them and named them all in like five minutes. I love this little trick. I hope that this saves you loads of time. And if you have questions, 
um, or you want to see the original video that I made about just creating social media graphics very quickly. Um, it's very similar to this tutorial. It goes into a little bit more detail, um, but it's using all the same standard sizes. But I'll link that video below too if you want to just soak up as much knowledge as you can. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you are an illustrator lover like me and ready to learn everything about illustrator that you can. I hope you enjoyed.